So, we are slowly starting to move away from DNX HD QuickTimes thanks to Apple. So what is our alternative? Well, we now have a thing called OP1A MXF. And thankfully, it's now supported in Pro Tools. It's been supported in Premiere and Resolve for a very long time. And slowly but surely, vendors are starting to adopt it. But let me show you how to use it. Here's some head leader. And this head leader is DNX 115, as you can see. A lot of people prefer DNX 36 because they like to keep the file sizes small. Well, OP1A allows you to do that. In your export settings, set it to MXF OP1A. Choose the DNX flavor you want, in this case 36. Pick your audio layout and then hit export. And it will convert it on the fly. Please note that if you're delivering a QuickTime that needs to be MOS, I recommend deleting the audio tracks because there's no option to do MOS on this export. So let's go ahead and save that to our QuickTime folder on the desktop. And if we go look, we've now got this MXF file. And if I AMA it back into my bin and check out the properties of it, you'll see that it's DNX 36. Now let's say the person you're delivering this to insists on having QuickTime. Well, there's a few ways you can convert it. Unfortunately, in later versions of Avid, you can no longer do same as source, but in the versions where you can, all you have to do is take your AMA link clip, go pick a same as source profile, set it up as such, only variant being legal or full depending on what you're doing, and just hit save. And it's not transcoding it, it's just rewrapping it into a QuickTime container. If you look, these are the exact same size, no difference. Now the other way is to get FFmpeg. And once you have that installed, use this script, which I'll put in the description below, and run it on the folder. So if I open up terminal and CD into the folder, let me pull this down so you can see it happen, and run this script, it'll wrap it for you. Now the cool thing about this is if you have a folder that's full of these files, it'll do the batch. And there you go. Now you've eliminated QuickTime and you still have an option to deliver it if 100% necessary.